Hey guys, we've had a lot of you asking, what is the proper way to hit a cut shot? So today, we're gonna share that information with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the Better at Beach YouTube channel. My name is Brandon. Before we get going, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Today, we're gonna to be sharing a few secrets of how you should be hitting a cut shot. There are a couple misconceptions of what a cut shot actually is. So today, we're gonna to kind of talk about what some of those misconceptions might be and the proper way to do it from the left side and the right side, depending on what type of player you are. A cut shot is an attack that, if done incorrectly, it can definitely hurt your game. One of the things that I commonly see from players that are trying to hit a good cut shot is that this ball actually gets a little too loopy. So one of the things that I want you to think about before you even start practicing hitting a cut shot is thinking about a cut shot is still an option to speed up the play. A lot of the times when we think about hitting cut shots, we think about hitting over a blocker, but that's not always the instance of when we want to use a cut shot. There are instances where we have the open court and we just need to get the ball down quicker than we would if we were doing a loopy cut shot. The way that we're going to accomplish this is by staying behind the ball, still using our vision to see that defender, and then deciding whether or not we want to go in for a heart attack or a cut shot. There's a couple things that I want you to think about when you're trying to hit a cut shot. And it actually starts with your approach. One thing that a lot of attackers do is when they go in for a cut shot, they actually slow up their last two steps, which doesn't allow them to get as explosive as they need to be on the jump. I need you to go into this attack looking like you're going to hit hard, and then at the last second, you're going to decide that you're gonna hit a cut shot. The way that you're going to hit a cut shot is by going through a full arm swing, but instead of swinging through this ball, we're going to meet this ball at a high contact point and acting like we're the smartest kid in class and raise our hand during and after the contact of the ball. Now I'm gonna share a few secrets of what you should be doing on the left side of the court and what you should be doing on the right side of the court because those two cut shots are going to feel very, very different because you're going to be swinging the ball in a different direction. So we're gonna start with the left side of the court. And I need you guys to keep in mind that I'm a right-handed player. So if you're a left-handed athlete, then you need to make sure that you flop whatever I'm about to say. So since I'm a right-handed player and I'm on the left side, my cut shot is going to be a ball that I'm going to be speeding up towards the sideline away from me. So the opposite sideline. One thing that I need you guys to think about is as you're going to approach, if the camera is that defender, I need to make that defender think that I'm about to hit this ball as hard as I possibly can right at their forehead. But then at the last second, instead of swinging through this ball, I'm going to leave my hand up. Once we make this contact, then I need you to try to pull your thumb down, allowing that ball to trail away from that defender. So if I go and I make this contact, I'm going to speed up and then I'm going to throw my thumb down in order to make this ball go towards that sideline a little bit away from that defender. A lot of the times we see attackers do their thumb down before the contact happens and that's when you see a lot of cut shots go into the net or miss wide on the sideline. So make sure you're thinking about going through the ball first hard once contact happens at that extended arm, then you're going to pull that thumb down. If you make that contact point quick, I guarantee you'll hit a very nice cut shot. As you can tell now, I'm standing on the right side of the court. So the lineup's gonna be a little bit different on the right side of the court. So instead of where I was on the left side of the court and I was really aiming my approach at that defender, now I'm gonna switch my approach to where I'm kind of going a little bit more seam or if you wanna exaggerate, you can look like you're going directly towards the line. That's what your approach is going to look like. The reason for that is when we as right side players go up to swing, we are gonna use this rotation to pull the ball back to our cross court. Defenders know that, and they know that they need to stay honest on that cross court defense, so they won't be cheating towards the line. But once they start to realize that you're being aggressive and you're starting to hit, that's when the cut shot can open up. 
So something I want you to think about, we have the same exact ideas we have on the left side is that I need to approach aggressive, have really strong last two steps. I need to get up in the air and then right at contact when my arm is extended and I'm the smartest kid in class again, now I'm going to point my thumb up and give that defender a thumbs up while I'm hitting a perfect cut shot into the court. So once again, I'm going to approach to the net and then I'm having my thumb up in the air so that when I make this contact point, I'm going to push that thumb up towards the net and that should allow that ball to trail away from that defender now and speeding up the play to win on that cut shot. So those are just some basic ideas of how you can hit a better cut shot. To be honest, one of the most important things about hitting a better cut shot is repetition. You have to figure out what type of touch you like to have on the ball because even myself and Mark hit cut shots very differently. We've just spent hours and hours of practice trying to perfect what our cut shot needs to feel like. So I'm gonna challenge you guys to get out in the court, backyard, whatever you need to do to practice this cut shot. And we have a very simple drill for you that you can do. You don't need a partner, but if you do, it'll make it a little bit easier because you don't have to shag as much. Each person is going to set up on one side of the court and one person should be on the left side and the other person should be on the left side as well, but on the opposite side of the net. And all you're gonna do is give yourself a nice easy toss and you're gonna practice hitting this cut shot. I challenge you to play around with this idea. One of the people that I absolutely love watch hitting shots is Adrian Carambula. And you can see that he really tries to manipulate the spin on this ball. So I want you guys to play around with that touch. Try to see what shots you can hit, how they can be different. And I guarantee you, once you've perfected that touch, you're gonna start scoring some more points. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any more questions about cut shots, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below and we will definitely answer those. And if we have enough questions, we might even make another video about it. Once again, we appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.